Hey guys, today I want to show you how to set up your blog post template in Elementor. So I have a blog post open just in the basic WordPress editor. To get there, I went to all posts and then I opened the only blog post I have in here. So in this editor, you can add your post title, you can add your body text. You can also do this within Elementor, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I just went ahead and threw some warm Ipsum text into the mm -hmm. classic editor. Over here in your toolbar, you can update your permalink, add your categories and tags, go ahead and add a featured image, which I've done here. And then you can also add an excerpt. I usually don't do this, um, that's a personal preference, but I wanted to go ahead and add it today just for demonstration purposes. All right, and actually let me go ahead and throw in a couple of categories. We'll just have blogging and uncategorized. I'll call this one blogging. Okay, now let me hit update. Okay, now what we're gonna do for our, to create our post template, instead of going to edit this individual post, I'm gonna create a template that will apply to this post and all future posts that I create, as well as any other post that I've, that might already exist in my blog. So I'm gonna come down to Elementor, to the templates, then I'm gonna click Add New. And in this dropdown, I'm gonna choose a single for my type, and I want it to be a single post. And I'm gonna call this single post template. I'm gonna create the template. Okay, and it immediately opens up and gives me some options for different templates that are available within Elementor. I'm gonna go ahead and click this first one. I'm going to insert it. Okay, looking good so far. So this pulled in the header that I created just in the WP Admin dashboard through um, our Ocean WP theme. Um, and it will also put in the footer that I created there as well. It pulled in my featured image. So if I click on this, you can see it when it, under the choose image, it's just tagged to pull in the featured image and that's by default and that's usually what you want. So you wanna add a featured image to each blog post and then you want that featured image to show up at the top of each of your posts. Okay, so we can go through and change out this area here. I don't really care if I have my avatar shown. So Let's get rid of that. We don't want our profile picture, but it's okay to display the name. So we can leave it there like that. And other than that, you can add in your bio, which I don't have. If you did, it would show up a little bit about me. And this would lead you back to your archive page. Under style, if you had your author image here, this is where you could change its size. And same thing here, if I wanna change the text, then I can, maybe I wanna make my name bigger. So I can use that. I can change the color. Maybe I want it to be that blue. Same thing with the biography, if that were appearing, then it would, you could change the typography there, change the color. And on my button, maybe I want a border radius of six to give it some rounded edges and maybe I want the background color to be green and the text color to be black. Okay, I don't really like that so I'm just going to go ahead and clear that. All right, but you have some options there. In fact, I don't really like this archive button anyway so I'm just going to get rid of it. All right, now you can move on to the next element, which is your post title. So again, you see that it has this little um, wrench here. That means it's a dynamic element. So it's gonna automatically pull in your post title. So whatever you called your post, it's gonna automatically pull that in. <clears throat> then you have your metadata for your blog post. It's showing the date, the time, and the terms. The terms include your categories you can add in different options here if you use tags. Um, 
I don't want to show any of my terms. And I also don't want to show the time. I just want to show the date. Okay, but you can pick here from a variety of different um, types to use. So you can see you can add your author again, comments, or you can add some custom options there. But I just want to show the date. And I want to make that text a little bit bigger. Not quite that. Okay. Okay. And this is my excerpt. You remember I had a little excerpt here. So the, again, you see this little wrench icon and post excerpt. So it's going to pull in whatever you had entered for your excerpt. If you have nothing, it's just, there's not going to be anything there. Then you have your text here. Okay. And then you, rather, then you have the body of your um, blog post here. So you can use, I just plug this into the WordPress editor. Um, you can add your headings there directly in the WordPress editor, or once you set up this template, this is, it's showing the blog content. And in fact, if I, or the post content rather, if I drag this over, see it's going to duplicate that, okay? So when we click here, I see it shows edit post content. That's the same thing that it's doing here, edit post content. I just wanted to show you that that was the widget that was used by default since it doesn't show the little wrench element like or the wrench icon like it does in other places. Okay, so this is your post content. Whatever you have here in the WordPress e editor, it will pull over. Um, if you don't have anything in your WordPress editor, you can edit your content directly in Elementor. Down here in this section, you have the share this post feature with your share buttons over here. You can leave those if you like them. You can change the style of your share buttons. You can get rid of different share buttons, add additional share buttons. Um, you can change the appearance. So you can see it can be an icon and text, text only, or just the icon. You can do different looks to it and different shapes. Okay, so you have a bunch of different options. If you wanted to do your columns auto, uh, let's see, it looks like there are seven there. So see that it fills up that whole section, but I don't like that. So we'll put that back to auto. And you can choose your alignment here if you want to align it within its section. Okay, you can see that we have a Facebook comments plugin here, which means that your users can comment using their Facebook account. You can also add a regular post comment section. If I can add it to the right place. Okay, and it looks like I've got comments turned off on this post, but if I had my comments turned on and I can show you where to do that, then users would be able to comment on this post without being logged into Facebook. So you have a couple of different options here for comments if you want to allow your users to post comments on your blog posts. So I'm gonna click publish and I want to include it to all posts. Click publish. Okay. Now I'm gonna to exit to dashboard Okay, and I wanna show you where to turn off or turn on comments. So if you navigate to your settings and then to discussion, you'll see all the different options for your comment settings. So here you can see that this automatically close comments on articles older than 28 days, that's checked. Well, the article that we were posting on was dated I think sometime back in October. So that's definitely older than 28 days. So if we uncheck or if we extend this maybe to 180 days, scroll down to the bottom, save changes. And now if we go back to our post, and let's do a preview. Oops. 
and we'll scroll down. And you can see here's our default comment from WordPress. And I can also, since our posts or our comments are open again, I can go ahead and post a comment here, or I can add a post as a Facebook user. And you can see you can also post this directly to Facebook. All right, so that is how you create a post template in Elementor. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll also be doing a, doing a tutorial showing you how to set up your blog archive page. So stay tuned.